on y'all it's your boy told mac hill my boy johnny dubs welcome back another episode of the fading and fit podcast this is the episode three we got a special guest in the building today we have this guy who's a thrill seeker yes sir has been traveled to 38 countries ladies and gentlemen amazing that's amazing you know what i'm saying an entrepreneur and a guy who owns his own blender <laughs> We're going to get into that. The one and only Justin, a.k.a. International Just. Make some noise for him, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. How you Thank doing, you my guy? How you Thank doing, you man? Always well, man. Always Thank you for well. Being Thanks here. for having me. Oh, man. Appreciate you, man. So tell us, man. Tell us what's about Blend Black, this this blender. What made you want to say That's I want to- a nice shirt. It's a nice shirt. What made you say, like, Check I want to make blenders? <laughs> Um, yo, during like the beginning of COVID, I'm a nurse, by the way, guys, I am. <laughs> um, beginning of COVID, yo, it was hard to get food to the job and the job was acting weird making food for us. So I was just like, yo, this is crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I wanted to, um, to, and I also wanted to, you know, know everything that was going into my body because there was so much unknown about the virus. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I, I picked up a little portable blender and I, that joint wasn't powerful. It wasn't mm -hmm. crushed ice or nothing. So I'm like, okay, um, all right. Well, and I, you know, I'm a businessman as well. <clears throat> I was in, a, I was part of a travel club selling membership and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I always wanted my own business. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna make this product better. Mm. And then, um, yeah, now we here. Okay, Black. okay. Why do you feel it's essential to own a blender right now? Uh, well. You can make smoothies on the go, cocktails on the go. You know, like I said, you can control what you put in your body. Um, it's very simple uh, to just pour ingredients in in the morning and then yeah. blend it yeah. fresh when you get to work. You know, put it in the fridge and just blend it when you're ready to blend it. That's good. Um, so yeah, you got a favorite? You, you, you got a recipe yourself that you you know whip up sometime? Man, you know, every yo, you know what? Before I was really on my fitness journey. Yeah. I was doing a peanut punch every day, but I would That's have good. like, mm. it's good, but it's a lot of fat. Though. You Jamaican? Huh? You Jamaican? No. Nah, but okay. I go to the Jamaican spot. Okay, I was like, yeah, hey, <laughs> you say peanut punch, you're already making bells. Okay, so, okay. So, you know, but it's, it's a lot of fat. Or maybe the ingredients I was putting in had mm -hmm. a lot of fat. I had yeah. skippy peanut butter. Oh, yeah, you were using all peanut butter milk, already. The right? peanuts, the, <laughs> you know what I mean? Banana, but it is good, though. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. Vanilla extract. <laughs> hey, <laughs> cinnamon. Yeah, man. So did they blend black? Okay, like, uh, like, where did that come from? Did you like make it for like so niggas would support, or like, like, did you like just say yo do it for the culture? Like, what was behind it? It was more so for <laughs> Pakistan. <Right. my> <laughs> now it's more so for the culture, and you know, a lot yeah. of us people of color die from like obesity, oh, obesity, <laughs> obesity, and yeah. you know, like, mm -hmm. uh heart conditions and stuff like that. So if you can make meal replacements and stuff on the go, mm -hmm. um, little quick healthy things, you know, if, even if you could supplement one meal with that with something healthy because you have a portable blender, mm. you know. That's great, that's great. That's enough for me, man. As long as I can save one person. There you go. Uh, so you, that's some nurse shit. Yeah, you know as long as I can nurse. save one life. You know I mean? That's a fact. So you know it's big blender manufacturers out there, like you know, like Magic Bullet, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Nutribullet, Nutri Bullet mm -hmm. and all these other things. Like, what separates your blenders from them? Like, what do you feel like if I want to go buy a blender and I see all these three, well, I'm gonna pick your blender. To be honest, um, or it doesn't matter to you. <laughs> to be honest, it's it's all marketing and yeah. you know, and but some have more, you know, powerful batteries or powerful mm -hmm. engines and stuff like that. Um, like I said, I picked up a blender. I yeah. ain't, they gonna remain nameless. Yeah. <laughs> but um it just wasn't powerful. So that inspired me to create my own. So, you know, mine is a lot of people say mine is more powerful than all the other portable blenders that they've had. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I would say that's the difference. Mm. Now you you were talking about kind of like I want to know how involved you were in the actual manufacturing of your product. Like you said, you picked up a blender, you saw that it wasn't something that you necessarily you know saw longevity with using. So you were like, you know, let me do my own. So how involved were you in picking out the 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 shape of it, picking out the blade, picking involved, out the plastic? Man. Like very involved. Okay. I had to do a lot of research, find a manufacturer. I had to, you know, I looked at a couple different manufacturers, but you want to look at how well a certain manufacturer is doing. Right. Because if they're doing very well, then I mean they're doing something right. Oh, yeah. You know right, what I mean? Right, so right, um right. so I went with the manufacturer that I felt more, you know, comfortable with and then 
I got on Photoshop. And look, I'm. Ooh. If you know me, I'm a little cheap, man. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I did the Photoshop right, okay, trial. All right, all I did right. the trial for Photoshop. You're like in levels. Yo, you, you, you Mr. Crab cheap. I say I got seven <laughs> days. <laughs> and I got money, but I'm cheap. Man. I don't care. No, so look, true. I was like, yo, I got seven days. I ain't trying to pay Photoshop. So I did, yo, I created a lot just on Photoshop, like my logo. I did my own logo. Nice. I I learned how to, you know, YouTube is my best friend. Yes. I learned how to, you know, do certain things like trace. I trace like a blade um, from whatever. And I, yo, vector, like it. I'm going back, man. I'm going back, you know, okay. a year ago. But, um, okay, okay. yo, I created my logo. That's dope, man. Um, had to go to different fonts. At first, I was going to go through um, Canva. Was it Canva? Canva, yep, yep. But then they said you can't use their. Whatever you get on their product, yeah, you like, can't use it to sell stuff. So I was yeah, like, well, yeah. let me like get you can't Photoshop. Use their templates or something like that. Yeah. Like for your even, own personal. Yeah. I don't even know Photoshop with it. But anyway, yeah. everybody is Photoshop, <laughs> so whatever. Exactly. But um, yo, and that's that. And we here today. I created the entire box. Um, just everything, man. Like I'm that a dope, beast. Man. I was focused, you know what I mean? I like I like pressure. So that seven day window just made me get everything yeah. done, you know? And then um, yeah. You operate best under pressure, do you think? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. If I got too much time, I'm going to use all that time. You're going to use all of it. But if I got... <laughs> well, you force you know, yourself into that box. It's like, yeah, I have I'm to focused. accomplish this. Let me get off the ground. Let me just get on. Lock in. Okay. Are you are you looking to expand BB right now in any way? Blend Black? Uh, yeah, man. I'm, How so? I'm, I need to reach out to different stores. Well, first, I need to... To be honest, I need to do more with my website, and then I'm going to start doing ads. I'm going to see how the ads uh, work for me because at first I just wanted to see friends and family. They ask, you know, their take on everything. I sold like over 400 blenders. Nice. nice. Um, and then I'm like, you know what? All right, I gotta really shoot more content. I have to fix my website, and I have to do ads now, and then that's going to bring in more revenue. And then I want to partner with stores like. Target or you know, but right. Neiman Marcus, Nordstrom. I want to get you know. That'd be dope, man. Seeing a blend black. Step into those uh, up in a uh, Target <laughs> in a Walmart. Word. You know what I'm saying? Word. So I'm I gotta reach out to be them. Very fire. Very fire. But I want to come to them correctly. Like, look, this is what I'm doing on my own. You want to come like? To, you don't want to come to them as a nigga, as a Negro. <laughs> Like a professional. Professional. <laughs> All right, I dig that. Nigga, I would have just walked in already. Like, yo, yo, hey, I got this blender. What's up? <laughs> nah, you got to be methodical in your approach. So, uh, you yeah. know, you got to approach it in a certain way. You got to understand your mm -hmm. who you're going to be dealing with and then understand your tar target audience. So, you know, you're, I, I see you're very forward thinking with the entire process. So, yes, sir. you know, shout out to you, my brother. Shout Thank out you, to brother. you. Uh, so let me ask. I mean, you have a blender. So let me just ask: what are, What are your thoughts on fitness? Like, how how in tune are you with working out? How often do you work out? If you do, do you have a routine? Like, take me through a fitness journey if you even have one. Okay. So at first, to be honest, before this year, I was struggling to find the motivation to work out because I'm like, I don't, I don't care about ads and all that shit. You know, I'm sucking it in right now. Man. I don't care about ads. You know what I mean, like, I don't really care. You know what I mean? And, it's kind of fucked up. I got a girl. Like, I don't care, bro. Like, you know what I mean? But I'm like, you know what? I don't want her to let go. So yeah. why would I let go? You know there what I mean? Go. So so I just said, you know what? I want to be in the best shape of my life, you know? Look at that. I'm not going to be too hard on myself because this is a journey. So, you know, mm. I don't have a specific time. Right. But I want to be in the best shape of my life. Um, for forever. So basically, you just don't want to be huffing and puffing after when the mood is right. <laughs> I mean that too. That's I mean, I'm why. never huffing and puffing, but you know, <laughs> I, mean, I got you know, enough stamina for that. Everything. I dig that, man. But I just want to be good. You know, I don't want to look yeah. down and like, yo, it was. And it I was also coming a time where. I couldn't wear large shirts anymore. I'm just like, Man, I gotta get an extra large. Stomach coming out. <laughs> Pants I'm so crazy. I'll tell you, the clothes, the clothes will always humble you. The clothes will yo, always humble you. Bro. I was getting always. the man boobs. Gotta, I was like, nah, this gotta ain't wear it. All black yeah, now. <laughs> this trying ain't to cover it. What you don't want people to see. That's a. This ain't it. So hey. I say, you know what? Let me hey, get on man. it. So basically, um, what I do at first when I started, I was working out every day, no break. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I'm like, you know what? You got it for like a month. Then I'm like, you know, you got to let the body rest, you know? Mm -hmm. So what I do now is uh, I work out five days a week. Okay. Mm. And um, since I'm very busy, so 
I said, you know what? The best thing for me to do is to wake up in the morning and work out. Morning so I work out like five in the morning mm. before I go to work. Mm. And I work a 12 hour day as a nurse, you know what mm. I mean? Like five days a week. So I wake up at 5 a.m. I do like a 40 minute workout and I, I stretch. And then, um, yeah, so Monday, I'll do upper body. Monday, Wednesday, Friday is upper body. Tuesday and Thursday is lower body. Okay. Okay. Got to hit the legs. Got to hit the chicken legs. Got to hit the Chris Black legs. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is, but yo, anyway. <laughs> do, do you do you blend after all your workouts? Oh, that's a fact. Okay. I also started, so I started doing on um, pro, so I replaced my peanut punches. Okay. With protein shakes, mm. so I I, rep I also represent another company. I haven't been pushing it mm -hmm. because you know I'm pushing my own company, but there's a company called Secret. They make vegan protein, okay, which is pretty dope, very dope. And yeah. um, so That's I got the vanilla, I got the vanilla vegan protein, and then I got the uh, chocolate vegan protein. So you're gonna be like when those? Hope you're not like when those vegans who's just vegan <laughs> I'm not and a fat. vegan at all. Bro. Oh, <laughs> what? Okay. I, I just can't do the milk. Oh, you can do, so, what about no. like almond milk? I do almond milk. Okay. I can't do, you know, you're not a two percent. Like, you're not one two percent. Ain't, ain't, ain't it crazy how our bodies <laughs> change now? All the things we used to be able to I've eat. I've always been lactose intolerant. Oh, really? really? Okay. Oh, yeah. So you always had to monitor your, your intake. I couldn't do the milk. Damn, no ice cream, no none of that. I mean, when I was a kid, no I was some ice cream. No grilled cheese? Damn. No grilled cheese. I'll do Damn. pizza and mac. I do some mac and cheese now and then. I, I, I'll just. You, you take the consequences. I was gonna say you take that. Like <laughs> I take the L. You know we ain't gonna talk about the. I ain't mad at not mac and cheese. That's hard to pass up, brother. Like you know what I'm saying. Like <laughs> mac and cheese. <laughs> Especially good man come around Thanksgiving oh time. Like, I'm saying, Yo. your family gonna look at you crazy with no Mac on your plate. Like, you, know, you gotta put the Mac on your plate. I'm gonna look at me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no Mac on the plate. Ah, oh, man. All right, so let me ask you about your travel a little bit. Like, the first time I met you, you, you kind of got taught to talking about the, the world ventures. Oh, that's you should a be fact. World ventures. You know what I'm oh, saying? you too? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was the first time I met him. He got me, man. He got me the first time I met him. We were talking, we were talking real casually. Got it, man. He needs to drop the bomb on me. Just pulled out the presentation. I said, "Oh damn, my man was ready, like ready, ready." I appreciate the preparedness, like very prepared, very. But like, what world, what world ventures? Everybody understands the travel aspect. So, did your love from for travel come from that, or did you have a love for travel before that? Yo, to be honest, um, wow, when I was. Before I ever traveled anywhere, there was this girl I was talking to, and you know, we from the hood, we get fly and shit <laughs> like that. So um, I had like, I don't know how much, I probably had like, I was, my outfit was probably eight bands, I don't know, 10 <laughs> bands or something stupid. And then I was, you know, I'm bragging and shit, I'm thinking I'm hot. She's like, okay, so damn, you you got this on, how time much out, is this? On, how much on. is that? How much is that? Just hold on, hold on, let me finish the story. How much is this, how much is that, how much is that, right? I'm out. And then I was like, well, this is this is that, you know, right. I was mm. doing the math. She said, but where have you been? Mm. I said, oh, mm. oh shit. Mm. shit. I like that. Shut damn. Where I was like, but 10 bands, though? I mean, I had a nice bands. watch on. I had ten a nice bands. watch on. Ten I had about time, about time, about time, about time. It was like eight, eight bands. I'm going to let you continue. It was about eight bands. All right, eight bands, go ahead, um, man. Anyway. Ten bands. All right. Cool. Yeah. I'm all right. So, um, but you was clean. I was clean. All right, that's cool. Yeah. That matters. But um, <laughs> you know, I, used, I used to spend all my money on yeah, fly shit, fly shit, yeah. bro. Just anyway, but um, yeah, bro, like that shit had me thinking, like, wow, okay, she's right. So and she don't even remember saying that because yeah, after I started traveling, I went mm. back to like yeah, I've been hitting. Right. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what? When did I say that? I was like, what up? You said it. Right. I ain't never forget that shit. So um, yeah, bro. But um, yeah, my first time out the country was to the Bahamas. Okay. Went with Mom Dukes. Mm. That was pretty dope. Mom Dukes and my brother. Um, and then yeah, I just, just started what, what year was out that? From there, 2013. Okay. That's dope. That was my first time out the country. Lit. In mm. 38. And now later, you're 38 man. countries later, nine years later, lit. Mm. <laughs> That's crazy. And, and, and I haven't traveled out the country since 2019. Really? What was the last place? I would have really been probably 50 something by now. Yeah. Um, last place, what I did? <clears throat> I did the Great Wall of China, Beijing. I did um, Thailand, Bangkok. Okay. Mm. I went to the Philippines. 
And then I also did Bali. Bali is amazing. Oh, you went mm. on the Asian. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I like to bounce around. Nah, that's, mm. So uh, we see that you, you know, obviously go to a lot of places to eat and whatnot. I so love, like, I love food. <laughs> what's your favorite food? I don't. It's hard. It's hard to have a favorite food because if you eat your favorite food every day, you'll get sick of it. Not so lies. Hard to have lies. Lies, lies on every propaganda. Day? I, I can eat oxtail every day. Right? Every single bro, day for month, dinner. You're gonna be nope. <laughs> no, I can tell you no, but I, I feel like I feel like I, I feel like see a challenge every day. of him eating oxtail. I'll try it like, one day. You put me to it. I'll do a love thirty day challenge. Day. I'll do a thirty day. But challenge. But now I feel like having a favorite is not based on consistency of how you eat it. It's basically like what you prefer more. Like you know what I mean. So I'm like, do you have a preference of what? Okay, like basically, like if you can say like, your ultimate meal, like what would it be? It's hard, man. I, I dig it. I dig it. I, I know, dig man. it. I dig it. Honest, I dig it. I dig it. I'm just, I like to try new things. I mean, I love steak. Mm, everybody does. Why do you, you know love I mean? steak? You yeah. say, you say you love I steak. Love I love it. Yeah, I love like like ribeye steak. You know what I mean? Okay. Ribeye. How, how you eat your steak? steak? Or Wagyu. You yeah. know what I mean? I had some Wagyu this past week. It was good. 8.5 and all that. Um, but how yeah. you eat steak? Medium? Medium rare? Medium. Okay. That's dope. That's dope. Medium. So we gonna. I ain't know nothing. I was a well done nigga. Then I dropped the medium then well, like, and I'm like, all right, let me do the medium. We all there, we all there. Do the medium. So we're going to hit you with some questions, you know, um, personal preference questions, you know, just to answer your best abilities. All right. <laughs> all right, so we know that you do a lot of things. What do you feel you don't spend enough time doing? Spending time with my family. Mm. All right. A free two-week all-expense paid trip where you're going. I would either tour Europe again or tour okay. Africa. Sky here <laughs> again. Pretty okay. this guy. Or tour South of America. Mm, okay. It's amazing. A year with no music, or in your case, a year of no traveling. Ooh. What? That's what I said. A year of no music or a year with no traveling. Oh, no music, bro. Really? Ooh. <laughs> what? <laughs> traveling makes me he happy, man. So lightly too. He said so lightly. Traveling makes me happy, bro. Mm. I don't have to listen to music. I can listen to audios. I listen to books a lot. Podcast. I read, bro. Mm. I don't got to listen to music. It's poison, a lot of this music. You know, I listen to old school music. Mm. Man, man <laughs> so that's poison. Damn, you got me. Like, like, I, I love like rap music. Too. I love like, I love me. I love it's R&B great. too. Like, geez, like it's it gets great. me through. It gets me through the day. It gets me through commutes. It gets me through the gym. It gets me through. Like, you feel me like. Is. But These I mean, toxic. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a book could do the same thing. You're absolutely uh-huh. right. And you can learn. I understand. You're absolutely Instead right. of listening to repetitive shit over and over. I mean, you, there's yeah. messages in music as well. But it's like, a bigger message than right music. If you listen to right music. Yeah, there's, there's right don't listen music. to Big Sean all day, I guess. I mean, <laughs> you got a good message to say. Yeah, I mean. Some yeah. albums you put out. <laughs> yeah. J. Cole. Yeah, definitely. You have, you have a favorite artist? Chris Black. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, favorite artist? I mean, Hov, Cole. I like Cole. I like mixtape Cole when he first, before he came out. Okay. I like versus, I like a feature Cole. Drake does his thing. <laughs> Drake does his thing. Okay. Drizzy. I um, think Drizzy. So, yeah. So, let me ask you another random question. Mm-hmm. You being a businessman and all. Talk to me. If an investor gave you a quarter mil right now, what's your next business you're doing? What's, what's the next what's business? What's my next business I'm doing? Yeah. <laughs> what's the next business venture? I would do, huh? I would do something that I can sell online. That's not like a physical product. Okay. Something digital, like an ebook, something like that, or something uh, bigger than that. Quarter, yeah, probably a course. Okay. I would probably do a course because you you make it one time and you can sell it a million times. Right. And the information doesn't really get old, and you know, if you really want to, you, so you, know, the, you don't have to go through all the headaches I got to go through with mm-hmm. my business. You know what I mean, <laughs> Blend Black. And um, you know, I'm probably, I, I probably will come out with a course. You know, I'm, about making a blender. <clears throat> um, no, about like, it could possibly be about starting your own business. Okay, because then you can take you know the steps I took to start any business. Um, or it could be about credit. I'm great with credit. Okay, uh, it okay. could be about. A lot of things. You know? Okay. So that's what you would take the money and invest it in solely. Like, okay, I'm going to make myself a marketing, basically an influencer. 
Right, and it would, it would most, I mean, it would mostly go to marketing. Okay. <clears throat> well, it would go to like fire production, the best production, mm -hmm. the best website, and then most of it will go to marketing, and I'll make that money back fast. Okay. All right. All right. So, I mean, you're on a podcast with a couple smokers, mm -hmm. and you yourself, you don't smoke. I smoke here and there, my Okay, understandable, but I mean, when it, when not like <laughs> that. Not to put you out there, but you yeah, know what I'm saying? Exactly. You're, not, you're not here with it. But, you know, with that said, like, would you still enter or think about entering the cannabis business in any way, shape, or form? Oh, yeah. Mm, why okay. not? Cause, okay, and I, it's, why not? It's because some people kind of see it as a conflict of interest. Like, if they don't smoke a lot or if they don't smoke at all, they feel that's not the business for them. If you don't smoke at all, it's better for you. You ain't smoking your profit. I mean, I feel, I feel <laughs> what you're saying, but some people feel like they need to be knowledgeable. Right. Like, they feel they know, need to be connected, connected to what to they're what actually they're doing. They're selling. Like, you can hire I'm somebody gonna, that's knowledgeable. Yeah, I'm not going to be a pimp if I don't know nothing about the hoes. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can pay Chris Black very well, and he'll run everything, yeah. and then boom. Yeah, oh, I could partner with him. Let's say I got the money, he got the knowledge, I'll partner with him. Okay. And we we set. Of course I would do that. Okay. You said you're an avid reader. Three books to the listeners that you would recommend. <laughs> Three books. Um, and why? Ooh. I wasn't even gonna hit you with the and why, but <laughs> there it goes. All right, let me go through my let me go through my library. Right, no, that's good. Take your time. Let me go through the library because the people want to know. I want to know. I'm curious because people people who are avid readers, people who you know seem to be in the books and really you know soak up the words and what they're actually reading, you know it's a uh, it's good to kind of share that with people and kind of it would help put them on a certain path because they'll kind of gain the knowledge mm -hmm. you're gaining. And possibly, if you know they do it properly and have the right mindset with it, you know they can achieve or attain what you have, to a sense. Okay. What well, is a well? The first book that really opened my mind was um. Damn, I was going I, to the I book. I was going to say Rich Dad Poor Dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. There it is. There you go. You can say it, man. Rich Dad Poor Dad. That was the first book I read years ago. Mm -hmm. That really just opened me up to making money different ways. You know what I mean? Like I was like, okay, that makes a mm -hmm. lot of sense. I was into the real estate stuff like that. Um, yo, the compound effect is good. Okay. It's about doing something over and over. Like if you eat a, and since we're Talking about fitness, you know, if you eat a Snicker bar mm -hmm. every day, how is your body gonna look in a year? Versus if you eat an apple every day, you know okay. what I mean. So the there compound effect—if you do something every Consistent. day over and yeah. over—is going to give you that result. Okay. Um. So the compound effect is fire. Um. Uh. Any any book by Jim Rohn, he's the goat. Mm. Um. Think Think and Grow Rich is dope. Uh. I mean, I, I trade as well. So trading in the zone is like a psych psychological book. Mm -hmm. um, I, I mean, three, I got brother. different You're you going down the gambit right now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I would yeah, say three. I got a lot of books, my brother. <laughs> nah, that's good. Books. Nah, I understand. That's, I understand. that's, that's good. Because nah, cause honestly, you're giving people kind of, I feel like you're giving them a, a broad spectrum of things to read. Like right. you said, trading, you said. And for business, I would, say, I would also say go for no. Go for no is a good book. Okay. It It's... um. It changes your mindset because a lot of people are scared of rejection. Mm -hmm. So imagine if you write a a uh, a list of how many no's I can get. Mm -hmm. So now you're like you're going after rejection, and the yeses don't count. So let's say you going after a different amount of people, and right. you know you're like, well, all right. So I got this. No, he told me. No, he told me. No, he told me. No, but I got this. Yes. How many? You would you would probably get so many more yeses because you went after the no. Most people don't even go after the no. Cause they like nervous and shit, you know what I mean. So that's, that's a, some reverse psychology type shit. But. <laughs> I, I like that. I that's like a that. very good book like to that. um just get out of that, you know, that rut. All right, I got two more questions for you. Do you have a mentor? Being well, being a business person, I feel like a lot of people in business books have my mentor. I mentor? um okay. I buy courses. I pay a lot of money for courses. Like I learn from whoever. If, if there's somebody that's really you know doing something um amazing i want to learn from them so i'll buy their course and sometimes mm -hmm. it's worth it sometimes it's not mm -hmm. but hey I, you know because yeah, you, you mentioned jim rome man you said he's the goat so i, I, I assume goat. that's somebody you kind of revere somebody you really look at oh, yeah and man, hold in, like high esteem when it comes to business and business jim sense. Rome, tony robbins okay all those guys man but you know i there's a bunch of people okay my last question again you being a business man 
if you could set up shop and a traveler, if you could set up shop in any country to live and bring a particular business to, where would it be? You have, you've been to 38. <clears throat> I don't want, I don't want to set up shop anywhere. Really? You're limiting you know, yourself to, to one location. Mm. Online, you, you, you're global. Oh, you're such an e-commerce person. <laughs> I like global. I dig it. I dig it. Uh, but uh, but, but so, if I could set up shop and just be there. I, so I asked that really from a traveler's perspective, like because you traveled a lot of places. Like because one of my questions is actually like, what was your favorite place to travel? Because I mean, you've been to thirty eight different places. I'm sure one was probably one of the experiences was better than the other. So you know, I figured you know if you wanted to live somewhere, you would. Oh, I want to live in China, and in China, I would. How about this? Start this particular business. Like how about this? If I could run my business online and be anywhere in the world, I answer that one because it's like I'm still running my business, but I'm mm -hmm. just online. Okay, you know what I mean. Um, it could be, yeah, I love Santorini, Greece, Bali, south of France. Those are places I would definitely like move to. Okay, Bali. That's dope. So, so since you travel a lot, how you feel about being a traveling nurse? Um, well, when I travel, I don't want to work, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even mad at that though. Like, so I'm not I even mad like, at that. You know, I don't really want to work when I travel. But I traveling mean. nurses, like, they, they get the experience when they and go they get paid to do it, yeah, like, they get paid very, very, they that's very well compensated, like, mm -hmm. very well compensated. That's a fact, mm -hmm. that's a fact. So, not, that doesn't entice you at all to that to possibly enhance your traveling experience, it's still save lives. It could. You know what I'm saying? Because it takes it one day at a time. <laughs> That's true. It could. Um, I Man. thought about it. I can't front. I thought okay. about okay. it. You know what I mean? But oh, you have to take like other... three month contracts. Okay. Right. Right. Um, I thought about it. That's but I don't. I don't know. I would just rather work here, and then when I go, I just. I travel to like you know they say you shouldn't travel to escape. I travel to escape. Yeah, nah, I mean, I absolutely. What, absolutely. What the what the Instagram mm -hmm. memes are? I'm gonna travel to escape. You know what I mean? And I love it, man. Yeah. My next time, y'all might see me out the country. I I might be like done with work and I'll just be traveling back to. Back where's to, like, that back next place? Where are we back. going? Yo, we had this crazy. At first, I was like, all right, I'll go to Japan or something. But somebody like really. My boy Tim was like, yo, how many continents you been to? Mm. I was like, okay. and then we figured out I've been to like five out of seven. Damn word. Mm -hmm. So I was like. Where haven't you been? Which one? Wow. I haven't been to Antarctica and okay. Australia. Wow. So I, was I, like, I knew Australia was. Good. I was like, yo, those are the next two places I'm going. Lit. Yo, fire. So dope. now I'm Damn, seven out of seven. Dope. Dope. Look at, Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy, man. Continents. Crushing it. Fire. The next time we bring you back on here, you better have gone to them two places. Like. Well, Antarctica, <laughs> yo, Antarctica, that's like a twenty thousand dollar trip. Mm. Like a ten to twenty thousand. Twenty if well, you want to do it right. Well, you gotta fly to South to America. Else. You gotta take fly a down cruise fly. there. Stop you can it. fly there. Hey, what you doing in Antarctica, man? That's gonna oh make you pay that much. Like, what's really gonna do? I was about to go there next, bro. What's what's what are we doing there? What are we doing there? I'm looking at it on the map and all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm paying 20 bins. What is that? Yeah, yeah, nah, there better be some like, sucky, sucky. Yeah, there better be everything out there. Like, chilling like, with them kings. Like, 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 like I'm just a jet sticking you up, like with 20 bins. Yo, jet, man. Jet, right? It's just, a jet, I better have a, 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 a fifty foot yacht. Like it's a place and that's, that's, just a, and that's just a plane trip or just that's about the It's stay. a place that's not yeah, that's just a trip. Nah, it's not I mean, but you could do that's the not cruise. Expensive. You could do the cruise. Okay. So you're considering that. Hell yeah. yeah okay. now he got, he's a traveler. You got to. What? Like, I, I understand. Like, that's one of those years that make it happen no matter what. I already seen what? I already seen it in his face. Like, I already seen it. If, if I don't pay do a couple this bands, year, I might do it next year. Okay. If you, okay, if you got a couple bands like that, take me with that's you. Lit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't I'm say I got that much, man. You feel me? My boy got bands like this. I'm going out there. Take me with you. you I can feel do this one in first. My, my girl might not even come to that job. Yeah. I have a solo. Sorry, that's a solo. I got it. I'll never do a solo. Try. I got to do that one. Solo. <laughs> so, yeah, man. But appreciate you for coming yes, on the sir. show Thanks today, man, man. And explain to the Be people back. why they should blend fruits and vegetables. Yes, yes, yes. And stay on top of their game. <laughs> Get it correct. Blend. And blend, blend, blend. You can blend cocktails. You can blend cocktails. You can blend, and yeah, 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 yeah. You can do that, that. But be responsible. Be responsible. Be responsible. Blend black. International Just. Tell them where they can find you. Big fact. Uh, blendblack.com. Uh, Instagram, blendblack underscore. Yeah. Um, cash app, blendblack. No. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm not even mad at you. I'm not even mad at that. You thinking of all the uh, yeah, hey, on Facebook? <laughs> well, yeah, man. Blendback.com. Hit me up. Get your blender. Get a shirt. Represent. You know. Represent. He ain't bring us no shirts. Business. He gonna try to get a shirt, but he ain't bring us Listen, no man. shirt. I'm anyway, sorry, my he brought us blenders though. I ain't get no CMOS. I ain't get no CMOS, but I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing. You know what I'm saying? Double M. <laughs> Make sure you get your blend black yes. blender from the boy International Just. Thank you for coming on the show today, brother. You Appreciate know what I'm saying? You, man. It's your boy Tom Mac, Johnny Dubs. This is the Faded and Fit Podcast, and that's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Ice cold.